Hello everybody, welcome to Doubt Forum. In this question, this circuit is given and it is mentioned if all the cells have negligible internal resistance, what will be the current through the 2 ohm resistor when the steady state is achieved? So we have to find out the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor once the steady state is achieved. So before we solve this question, we have to understand what does this steady state mean? So always remember whenever there is a inductor or a capacitor is connected in a circuit there would be two types of state for that circuit the first state we name it as the transient state and the second state is the steady state so behavior of inductor as well as capacitor for transient and steady state are different a inductor in its transient state would always behave like an open circuit. Whereas a capacitor in its transient state or we can say during its transient period, it will behave like a closed circuit or short circuit. And opposite to this, a inductor in its steady state form would always behave like a short circuit. Similarly, a capacitor in its steady state form would always behave like an open circuit. So this is the table which we have to remember before we solve such type of question. So in this question, we are asked to find the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor when the steady state is achieved. As we can see, when the steady state would be achieved, this capacitor, because there is only one capacitor connected in this circuit, would behave like an open circuit. So once this branch has got opened, what would be the current flowing through this 2 ohm resistor? That is all we have to find out. So let me redraw this circuit. This capacitor here would be behaving like an open circuit. So we have to just make this branch as open. This is a 2 volt battery with zero internal resistance. This is also 2 volt battery. This is a 4 ohm resistor. This one is 2 ohm. This one is 8 ohm. And this one is also of 8 ohm. As we can see that this branch is open. So all we have to do is to find out the current flowing in this loop. To find its answer quickly, we can see that these two batteries are connected as the negative plate of first battery is connected with the negative plate of the second battery and both the batteries has the same potential difference. So the net voltage across the combination of these two batteries would be zero and when the voltage is zero, the current flowing through this loop would also be zero. This is the one way of solving this question. The other way of solving this question is to apply the KVL. Kirchhoff's voltage law. If we consider that a current I is flowing in this loop, so what we can do, we can simply apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law to find out this value of current I. Whenever we apply the Kirchhoff's voltage law, we have to mark the polarity. So here what I am taking, I am taking whenever we move from lower potential to higher potential, I will be taking it as the positive. And whenever we move from higher potential to lower potential, I will be marking it as negative voltage. So let's apply the KVL in this loop. As we can see, if we start from this point and if we move from this point to this point, as we can see, first we find the positive, then the negative. So we are moving from higher potential to lower potential. That For that reason, this 2 volt would be of minus. So this would be minus 2. Again, for this battery, what we are doing, we are, we are first reaching towards the negative plate, then the positive plate. So here we are moving from lower potential to higher potential. So this 2 volt would be of positive in nature. Then as we can see, this is the direction of current flowing. So current always flows from higher potential to lower potential. So the potential of this point would be higher and the potential of this point would be lower. So we are moving from higher potential to lower potential. So this would be of minus and its value would be 4 times of i, v into i, that is 4 times of i. Next component is of this 2 ohm. Here also the current is also flowing in this direction. So we are moving from this higher potential towards this lower potential. So this would also be of negative. This would be minus 2 times of i. No current would flow in this direction because there is an open circuit. So all this current would passes from this 8 ohm resistor and the direction would be like this. Here also this point would be of higher potential and this point would be at a lower potential. So here also we are marking it as the negative voltage and its value would be 8 times of i. This all would be equal to 0. So this 2 and 2 would get cancelled. So from here the value of i would come out to be 0. So in a steady state, 
no current would flow from this to ohm resistor and its value would be zero so thank you for watching if you still have any doubt please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel doubt forum see you in the next video till then take care bye bye